David Sianero. My name is David. I come from Ramsesane. Um, my community has been in need until Councillor Mawisala came to inform us about the Mohalako and HPI community project. And uh, we came here and I also came to volunteer. I'm so excited be uh, because uh, we are training and there's so much we are learning. There are gardens, there are computers at our schools, the eye center and all government services are at our place. My name is Delcy, I come from Matwapong. I'm so happy that at our school in Matwapong, which is called Mohopa Primary School, they have installed 10 uh, PCs and uh, the community as well as our children are being educated, they are getting PC literacy training at the school. <laughs> First of all, I was introduced to the various parts of the, compu of the computer. I was told that the monitor is used for displaying information. And then if I can move on to the keyboard, I can use the keyboard, the keyboard to write and compute. And then also I was told about the mouse which is divided into, which has two buttons, namely the left-hand side button and the right-hand side button. Okay, in the coming years, uh, my dream is to see, because uh, as I said in the beginning that uh, this village of us is destitute, I would like to see the development. I, uh, I'd like to see myself as the the member, I mean, the part of the that part that of the, of the group that can be useful in developing our community. For bringing this computer in this village, do you think it's an opportunity? Yes, I think it's a, it brings about uh, with it a bright future, because as, is, uh, if, as I can tell you, previously we didn't have access to the computers, but now I can see the light because uh, our youth will have that chance that we didn't have in the beginning. I'll be very much uh, happy to share the knowledge with the, uh, the coming generation. Because as I say, my dream is to see our village, the, the, the situation of my village changed to the, for the better. Yes, it's going to change our lives. I feel so much happy. I want to, to, to teach other, other people. About, yes, it changed our mind. What she's saying is, uh, her name is Mrs. Nsewa from the Pichi, representing Makibitswani Gardens. And then she's saying, when you first came here, um, this place was full of stamps. They were busy trying to clear the stumps in this area. But now they are so thankful that uh, they've been provided with a hundred uh, mango trees, a hundred leeches, and 40 orange trees. But uh, they still have a lack because there is no water. Now their trees are really thirsty. If they can be helped with water, then this project will really go far. Three months later when we were here, this place was, uh, was bare, there was no uh, vegetables, no trees, and then the water was a very serious problem. That's why everything was impossible. And then now with the intervention of HPI community, Mughalakwana municipality, Department of Agriculture, Green Lungs, and then we came up with an idea to develop something here. And then we found that, okay, there's a potential for for vegetable production, and then well, there, were, there are bowls that were not equipped, and then we, we went down to equip uh, the available bowl, 
that can supply water to this uh, uh, beautiful vegetable garden. Since well, uh, and then we used uh, community members, and all the com uh, all this work is done by uh, uh, community volunteers. We had uh, we had we had uh, uh, about 27 community members from the three villages: uh, Dipichi, Ramsasana, and Matsopo. And again, the, the, the improvement that we see here today is that uh, this Randa one. Previously, it didn't have uh, uh, electricity. As you can see there, there is uh, an electricity, which, which we hope that uh, it will be of assistance now that uh, HP uh, 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 has come into our partnership. And then we'll look into the point that uh, we, we equip this uh, uh, Randa wall with uh, uh, computers so that we can store information that we can uh, uh, use in future. The last three months when we when we're here, we indicated that this is the the offices that the extension officer is is, is using to assist these uh, communities with uh, extension work. We came up with a with a point that we have to develop skills within the uh, uh, the community members, and then in here now we we, we arrange that uh, there will be lessons that will be uh, 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 undergoing in this uh, 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 rendezvous as from now. And then presently, we had groups that were trained on uh, permaculture, medicinal garden, brick making, fence making. And we also hope to uh, uh, go into the community and look at other skills that we can maybe assist the, the, the community members to develop themselves. So when we when were here, there were big trees with uh, stumps as, as big as these ones. As you can see, there's other ones that are lying here. Uh, what happened is that uh, we uh, identified a group of uh, volunteers from the three villages, uh, the Pichi, Ramsasana, and Matopo, uh, that came here and then they did uh, they, this, this beautiful work. Uh, what, they, what, what they did here uh, is, a, is, a, is a permaculture. In here we have got uh, 15,000 vegetables and 3,000 medicinal plants. And we also have got uh, 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 fruit trees, we've got uh, uh, mango trees, we've got uh, orange trees in here, and then we've got also lychee that has been planted here. And then this is one of the uh, areas that we thought uh, uh, it, will, it, will, it will serve as a, a training center, a learning center for the, for the community members who are interested in doing a crop, crop production or, or fruit, fruit production. And also we have got a nursery that we established so that uh, we, 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 may, we may produce our, our seedlings from, from within the area. So, and, and again, we, are, we have realized that, okay, due to the scarcity of water, we, we are looking into all the methods that we can have to harvest enough water so that our garden can be look uh, uh, very nice and uh, have enough water. That uh, we're going to use another irrigation system, which we're going to use this bottle as the, as the, uh, as the source of water for all, uh, all these three circles. The, this water is going to irrigate this, and this circle, and this water, this circle, and this, that water, that circle. What is going to happen here is that uh, we are going to uh, pour water in here. Every time we irrigate, we pour water into this bottle. This bottle has got some small holes on it. And then these holes is, uh, are used to, to take the water out into the soil so that this place can be uh, uh, watered. So all these bottles, are, uh, when we irrigate this circle, we are going to use these bottles to irrigate here. That is the idea. And then in this way, we, 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 we find it will be uh, saving a lot of water by so doing. What we did here, we have got uh, uh, all the different uh, 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 forms of irrigation. We've got drip irrigation, and then also we have got a, 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 a sprinkler, and then also we are using, uh, on the fruit trees, as you can see, we are using uh, the pipes there to to irrigate the fruit trees so that we can uh, conserve a, a, a water by so doing. My name is Faith Kumete. I am from Mukopani. I'm working for Pafoang Environmental Cleaning. I have received this workshop from the I community in Memsi in Mkopani and I have trained uh, for drip irrigation cultivation. Basically what we're doing here is like we're trying to save water. We're only watering our crops. Water goes straight into the crops and it comes out as droplets. So there's no way we can waste water and we are not even losing water 
through water evaporation. Uh, this, this area, we believe that uh, uh, it, it should stay in this way due to the support of everybody. And then we, we, we also encourage that the people should respect this place when they come in here. They should really try to move by the, by, by the guide. They must have somebody who is in here that will be one of the community members who will, will be in here so that you can just uh, uh, guide them and show them exactly what has been taking place over time. And then another thing that we have in here, since well, this is a, a permaculture, and then we are using also, it's also an organic garden where we don't use uh, uh, chemical fertilizers, we use uh, uh, natural uh, uh, organic matter like uh, uh, compost and then the residues that are, uh, are decomposed around here. We have got a, a cabbage here and then also we've got a, spirit, a, a beetroot and then we've got green peppers and then we've got different crops that are going here and also we've got the medicinal plants that we, we put in here. And then in this idea we, we, we realize that okay, uh, this will assist in controlling pests. As you know that uh, uh, some pests are, are, they enjoy eating cabbage but they don't like uh, the smell of a green pepper or other crops that we grow in here like onions. Since well, we are also uh, looking in the issue of uh, natural resource conservation, we realize that okay, we should not encourage soil erosion. And by so doing, we realize that if we can put our, our trenches in this, in this form, then the, the water, when it's raining, the water will come and, 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 and stop here and then drain into, into this plot and also drain into this plot. And in a way, they, they will, will be reducing its speed of erosion. Some of the trees that were left in here, these trees were not uh, taken out because we realized that these trees are very good. As you know, they are alus. They assist in different things like uh, medicines, natural medicine. And also uh, we, 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 we hope that they will also come up with other, other technologies that we can use out of these trees so that we can help grow this beautiful garden much, much better. Uh, I am Herman Rangweteke from Matsopong village. About three months ago, the IHP people came to my house and uh, they've seen my little garden, which I was busy trying to plant some uh, cabbages, spinach and other things. And they've seen my poultry where I was busy trying to uh, make a small business of selling chickens. Now today I'm here at Buepatsevo, here at Dipichi. They're going to show us, the IG, H, um, HP people, they're going to show us how to look after the chickens. As you can see here, we've got two places here for the chickens, and we'll be having 100 chickens, 95 hens, and five cocks. They will stay there at night. As you can see, we're still busy trying to erect the fence here. And during the day, we'll open this gate here for the chickens to come and relax here. And uh, as we're having this garden here with the vegetables, we'll feed the chickens with the veg, and the chickens will also feed us with some eggs. Yeah, we are here by the cause of brick making. When we want to make a bricks, we have the certain procedure to make. We are taking the wheelbarrows of sand, three wheelbarrows of river sand, and one wheelbarrow of a crusher sand. We mix that sand together with cement to make gray in color so that the cement will dominate in the sand. After that, you are going to do a hole and pour a water right inside the mixture. We are going to take the mixer and pour it into the mold and stamp, compact it until it is level. And after that, we are going to put it out. Good day, my name is Ephraim Malebana from Makwilere. Uh, I'm really on performing environmental project. Uh, we are doing toilet, this is sanitation. And that one we are firstly starting by digging the hole, 
and after that we make a module. This one is the module that we start inside the, the toilet. After that we are digging and then we take uh, the bricks in, in this shape. And after that we pour the soil in this side and then we stamp it. After that, after we dig the, 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 the hole, we make a slab. A slab, we are going to make slab like that one and then it's a hole for the seed there. And we put the, the slab on top of the on top of the hole. After the hole, and then we build the toilet. After the toilet, we are going to make a roof there. And this is a, this is a seat for our toilet. And this our seat is a in this chain. So we are going to connect it to, to, towards each other in this way. And we put that that thing on this side. And after that, we mix a two wheel bar of a river sand and mix with a cement and we fold this seat inside there. And after a hey, four days, we are going to take out the, the, the mold. And after that, our seat is going to be like this one. And after that, it's just that we are, want to make our life sustainable by doing this kind of a, a job. Because actually, if we can look in our area, is a too much poverty, so we try by all means, all opportunities we are take it to make sure that our life is going to be sustainable. Hi, my name is Martha Machuchani, coming from Mukopani, and I'm coming from a group called Pafogan that we are recently busy with the gardens at Mukopani. And right now I'm here to workshop people about the solar cooking oven. Okay, this is the solar cooking, and here we are only using the sun, free energy that comes from the sun, no need to buy some paraffin, no need to pay more money for about the electricity. In this method, this, the heat comes from the sun and it is come here from the sun and we are only using black pots in order to absorb heat quickly. And right now we are busy cooking some, some uh, uh, morocco spinach and also morocco called tape that comes from, also from the garden. And in this method we are coming from where we are doing some research that women that come in here live with development villages, women taking a lot of time for the bush in order to, cook, to to make some wood in order to to make some meals at the evening and then in that in that bush they could be get raped and they could also be turned by the snakes and also we are using paraffin paraffin stoves paraffin stoves causes us heartburn and it can also cause your asthma and cancer in the nearer future and then in this when you are cooking uh, uh, with the sun stove the food doesn't change color if you are, you are, you are cook spinach spinach it will mean uh, green and the vitamins and also nutrients it could be there.